So Hennon Hooker has been a hot discussion as of late due to Hennon Hooker being cleared to practice with the team and half the Lions fan base running out of patience for Jared Goff. I decided to make this video to kind of explain my thoughts on Hennon Hooker, but also if the Lions were to make this decision to make him the guy moving forward. It should be said that finding a good, let alone great quarterback is extremely rare in the NFL. Quarterbacks don't grow on trees, and it's even hard to find a quarterback like Jared Goff. People may laugh at that statement, but beyond the top five guys at the position, it's even hard to find guys like Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott, or even Brock Purdy. It's not like the running back or wide receiver position, where those are much more easier to find. Now if, and I really mean if, the Lions think Hendon Hooker is the successor to Goff, they have to make sure they are 100% right about that because someone once said it is very easy to get worse at quarterback than it is to get better. Just because something looks better doesn't mean it will automatically be better. And make no mistake, I did like Hooker in the pre-draft process. I definitely thought he was going to be a first round pick, but he tore his ACL. I do think he has a nice blend of athleticism and arm talent to be successful in the pros. His play style kind of reminds me of Deshaun Watson. Again, play style. Don't get it twisted. Because taking the off the field issues aside with DY, we can all agree he was just about everything you want from a quarterback physically. But as we know, that's half the battle when it comes to being an NFL quarterback. One of the knocks on Hooker coming out of the draft was the system he played in Tennessee, as it was a one-read offense, and that's not a scheme that exists in the NFL. The other thing going against him is the fact that by this time of this recording, Hennon Hooker is 25 years of age. Only Aaron Rodgers and Steve Young became successful starting quarterbacks at the age of 25 plus. It's a super rare thing to happen, and both Rodgers and Young happened to be Hall of Fame players at the same time. It also doesn't help that he was a third round pick. Sure, there are a few examples of successful quarterbacks that were drafted beyond the first round, but again, it's super rare. I know I haven't been sound super optimistic about Hennon Hooker's potential. I just try to be somewhat realistic whenever I discuss football, honestly. But there is a path for Hennon Hooker to succeed. I think the best way for Hooker to get on the right track to being that guy is making sure, firstly, he sits out his rookie season. If there is a possibility of him being able to get some game experience with the Lions locking up a playoff spot, I would definitely like to see where he's at. And I think the Lions would do that too. The next thing I would probably do is challenge him on the knowledge of the playbook and the knowledge of the offense in next year's training camp. The key thing here is we need to see if he knows the plays, knows the offense from a philosophy standpoint, and when he gets live reps, how well does he run the offense and how smoothly it runs under him versus how it runs under God. That's the one thing I want Lions fans to understand because even if Hooker isn't ready for 2024, it's probably because Hooker is probably struggling with some details or his reps are not as good to the standards set by Goff. I know people like to shit on Goff, but the thing is he's a starter for a reason. He obviously gets the the best out of the offense he finds his receivers he's able to make checks at the line he's a high-end starting caliber quarterback but uh, probably i'm not saying anything new i honestly think goff should get a little bit more credit because our offense is one of the best in the league a lot of times young quarterbacks and experienced nfl quarterbacks will often hurt the offense because of these very reasons hell that's why you see a lot of these journeyman quarterbacks always having a job for a decade plus because experience is king at the most important position i will say that Hennon hooker has a great opportunity to be the guy moving forward as the Lions have one of the most QB friendly offenses in the NFL, as he would have a top three O-line, a great running game, and a great arsenal of weapons. Then add the fact that this offense collectively is still very young and that he can grow along with the young talent. Even if both Jared Goff and Hennon Hooker are not the future, it shouldn't be hard to find the next franchise quarterback as a lot of quarterbacks would succeed in this offense. Honestly, I'm on the record for thinking Hennon Hooker will be a high-end backup like Teddy Bridgewater, but knowing Brad Holmes and his batting average with his draft pick, I wouldn't be surprised if he became more than a good backup. I feel like Hooker is the right balance of just enough mobility and pocket passing skills to possibly be a successful quarterback in the NFL, at least in my opinion. 